Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. It is time again for the Hashtag 50 Stack Challenge 2. So if you're not familiar with this challenge, it's a weekly prompt assignment challenge. Each week I draw a prompt out of the bag. That's why there's no list like on Instagram or anywhere um, telling you what every week is gonna be because each week I draw out of a bag. So I don't even know what they're gonna be until that week. And I usually do it on Monday. So um, you can catch up by heading over to my Instagram which is craftycat72 or you can um, you know just watch the videos there is a playlist where you'll also see other people who have done the hashtag 50 stack challenge because I try to go find youtubers that are doing the challenge and put them in there and if I have skipped any of yours or missed any please let me know and I will happily add them to the playlist um, so for example last week I drew rich and poor so number 21 was rich i did you know kind of like a rich kitty and then number 22 was poor and i did uh, like a poor kitty and it's your own interpretation you don't have to use the same uh background i use substrate whatever you can use anything you want you can just do a page page collage you can do a painting whatever the only kind of rule i guess you could say is that you use the prompt other than that you do whatever you want to do make whatever kind of ephemera you want to make or like i said paintings collages whatever okay so i'm going to draw for this week and they're all just little strips of paper in there so this week we have black and white so one um number 23 you'll want to use something black and you can just use one something black. You don't have to make like your whole card black or whatever. You can just use an item that's black. <clears throat> it's up to you how you want to interpret it. And then 24 will be white. Okay. So you'll just use something that represents something white or is white. You could use like an image with snow or whatever, and that would totally um, give you your white. So just an example, um, and I will be right back. Okay, I am back to do black and white on our hashtag 50 stack challenge two. And uh, for black, I'm going to use this Tim Holtz portrait um, paper doll and um, this Tim Holtz paper that I've already kind of folded. I'm just going to do one of these simple pockets. And I got this pocket idea from Gail Agustinelli. Um, she did them quite a while ago. Um, she was, she got the idea from somewhere else too, but I'm not sure where. But anyway, she was using um, puffy dyed paper. So you, you know, make essentially a coin type envelope and then the tag goes in here. Well, last year I did one you know, with the paper doll on top, and I liked, I like that. So I want to do one of those. So that's what we're going to do. All right, let's get this done first. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? What should I do? Uh, let's see. Let me get my um, ruler so you guys get an idea of what, this was one of his 8x8 eight eight papers. So it's 8. I kept the length. And then I cut the tag portion off, but it's four and a half, eight by four and a half. And then I just scored it so that it'll fold um, like that. I'll measure. They're not even, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be even. Two and a half roughly, and two. So two on this side, two and a half on this side. And this is like a quarter of an inch or so. But we're going to cut part of these flaps off, as you know, if you've made um, coin envelopes. And if you haven't, you're just um, cutting at an angle and getting rid of the extra that is not necessary for the pocket. So, and do the same on the other side. So, if you score all the way across, you have your line of, you know, where you need to cut it. And then you're just making a, a diagonal cut there like that. Okay. And this one's not very big, but I was trying to give myself as much pocket as possible while still having, you know, kind of a decent sized tag. So if you use a larger sheet of paper, you might be able to do it a little bit easier, but I mean, it's going to work fine. And sometimes you do have to cut a little more so that it's not, you know, right up against that fold. It'll just fold better that way. 
always want to get rid of bulk. That is like the goal. Okay. Still is not enough. What in the world? I must be cutting like sideways because I'm using these ridiculous little scissors. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Some days you just should probably stay in bed. I'm starting to think. Yep, there we go. That will work. So we will glue that together. Oh, let's do a thumb notch in it first. Somebody was yelling at me and I heard you. I'm going to do a big, this is just a big circle punch. You can use, there's actual thumb notch punches and all sorts of things. Use whatever you have that will give you a little, you know, divot. Whatever floats your boat. And I like to ink it because I don't like that white that shows through the cardstock. But um, if you're not an inker, don't ink. I watched Gail the other day and as she said, you do you, I'll do me. And I, she was talking about Rachel at Roxy Creations and Rachel will do Rachel. And that's exactly the truth, right? <laughs> that makes it. Easy for everybody. So I'll put glue there and then along the inside of this edge. totally straight but that shouldn't surprise anyone yeah it's not straight at all all right there is the pocket and then we have our tag that we're going to put our lady atop I'm going to trim her um, shoulders a bit because she's a little bit too long but that's not a problem just trim it up a little I did the same thing with if you guys watch my shorts I have one um, where I used one of the Tim Holtz black and white um, paper dolls and I put it on top of a pocket like a folding um, file folder hanging file folder that's the word <laughs> uh, and I had to trim down his shoulders but it's that's an easy thing to do so don't feel like oh it doesn't fit I can't use it because you can trim them up a bit and they look fine just fine and this is Tim Holtz paper as well, I'm sure you guys know. I think this was one of his Halloween type ones, but um, I feel like you can use it whenever. For whatever. Oh, I probably should have covered the back of her. I always forget to do that. What I might do, not with you guys, because it will be torturous to watch, but sometimes I will cover the whole back because this paper is not great for writing on either. Um, glue the whole thing down to a piece of coffee dyed paper, the whole thing, and then cut it out. And then that way you get uh, I'm just going to kind of wing, wing it for some shoulders here. I don't want to just go straight up because it looks weird. That's a little bit more. There she is. But anyway, and then you cut the whole thing out and then your whole tag is covered on the back so it doesn't look disjointed. All right. So I have all kinds of goodies here and I don't know that I'm gonna use them all, but I'm just, I think on the tag part, I want to do this and this typewriter piece from Tim Holtz. Yeah. This one needs to be torn a little bit more. And I'm using Vintage Photo Distress Oxide. And I use um, Scotch Create glue stick 
and um, art glitter glue, just in a different bottle. And those bottles were gifted to me, but I think you can get them on Amazon. Um, what else I, oh, I've had lots of questions lately about the paper that I use to print out my digitals, because I know those two new kits, the uh, Steampunk Fantasy and the Entirely Bonkers, the Alice in Wonderland one, are super saturated with color, and so sometimes um, I had a friend try to do photo paper, and it kind of got all smudgy and blurred. It's because uh, those are, like I said, very saturated in color, the images. So um, that doesn't work well. So definitely use uh, just a, a regular type, decent paper. I use South Worth and I get it on Amazon. It's just a nice quality paper, but I know like Gail has a certain brand that she uses. You just need a decent quality of copy paper. I mean, I've printed both of those kits on regular copy paper and it works fine. So um, even regular copy paper works. I just wouldn't use anything slippery or glossy uh, because yeah, you're gonna get smudgies. Just because, like I said, they're just very saturated with color. And I don't, I have people ask me all the time about printer settings, and it's really hard. I don't really know because I, I just have an Epson Eco tank, and I really don't change my settings at all. And it's hard because every printer is different, right? And so I, all I can suggest is maybe play with your settings if you're um, not liking the way something's printing or whatever. And I'm sorry, I'm not more helpful about it. It's just I don't have any way of knowing how everybody's uh, printer, you know, settings are or whatever, what would work best for printing. You just got to play with it, really, to figure out what works best for your uh, computer and your printer and all that. If they'd ever standardize that stuff, it would probably make all of our lives easier because then we could say, hey, I put mine on this, and if you put yours on this, it'll come out like this. But they don't. So... Um, I don't know how I want this. <laughs> maybe I'll go this way with this. That would maybe make sense. And that's just a little trim, um, border trim that I had from a scrapbook paper set. So those are my best suggestions. South Worth paper is what I use and I have no troubles with. But you just got to use what you like, you know, what works for you. I like this number here, so I want to see that. So yeah, that is all the kind of shop talk. <laughs> My crazy little cat has been inside since, well, I did let him out a little bit the other day, but he is a stinkweed, so he is kind of just designated to the house for now, for the most part. I think I'm going to put this black lace on here. I just like to edge them with something, and I kind of like to, like, I don't like to cut it just straight up because I feel like it looks weird when it's just perfectly cut. I don't know. That's probably just me. But do it the way you like it. I just think it needs to be edged with something. Oh, I think I had it the other way around, but it doesn't matter. Don't matter none. And art glitter glue takes a minute to stick to like lace and fabric and stuff so I'm just gonna set it aside and then we'll start working on our pocket. For our pocket we're gonna use Tim Holtz. Um, this is out of that bag that just has flowers and like butterflies and all those kind of things. piece of typing paper, kind of again. I think I am going to use this. I 
and it could really fall into a black and white category. But I mean, like I said, you don't have to use everything, uh, the color, whatever the color is, you know, like black. You don't have to use everything black, just something black. So I know I'm kind of doing everything, but you can use, you know, one piece of black lace or whatever, and that's just fine. That still fits the prom. Okay, and this is gonna go about here, I think. Just kind of like something to break it up a little bit, you know? And then I thought maybe some lace, something. this. I don't know if I want it or not. Special delivery. I don't know where I wanted that. Doesn't show up very good. I think I just got a bunch of stuff out thinking, you know, something would, something would work <laughs> if I played with it long enough. I think I'll just do that. You know, we won't put any more lace on. That will work. She got a special delivery of roses. Gotta figure out where I want it here. I had left the lid off of that all night. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you do that? It's like, uh, I had to like cut a piece off of it because it was so hard. It's such a waste. I get so mad at myself when I do that. Because I use tons of it. I don't need to be throwing it away. it a little there. Okay. Our seven. Our seven could go in there, huh? Then it would show better. Yeah. These numbers are in my shop. My Etsy shop. All different ones, you know, styles and sizes. What have ya? I think I'm gonna use uh, tacky glue on that. It'll hold better. That's another thing I use a lot, tacky glue, because I don't use that uh, fabric tack, but you use what works for you. Okay, so there is our black item. And I probably will run a stitch across there, but these are really fun and a good use of those portrait paper dolls because they're kind of, sometimes hard to figure out how to use. Do I like how long that is? I may trim it off a little bit too and have it so it tucks down in the pocket a little bit. So yeah, we'll play with that, but that's not a big deal. For white, we're going to use this crackly paper from Tim Holtz and do basically the same type of thing. So it's just going to be a repeat. I'm going to grab some other scissors. So maybe I can get this in the first go instead of... I need to turn it over. I can't see the line. Still can't see the line. I really folded these crooked. 
that's with the scoreboard. It's like, wow, you're pretty talented there. To uh, make it totally crooked with the scoreboard. I'm never surprised when I do it on my own, but. Okay, a thumb notch. Not that worried about the back and everything because um, most likely it will get glued onto a page. These are super easy to make and they are a great use of if you like have uh, pieces of paper that you've cut off from, you know, other things or what do I do with my little picture? Um, like coffee dyed paper or whatever. Like I like to use those little half sheets that I have of paper. You could um, just take regular copy paper and dye it, you know, fun colors and make pockets cause, and then you can decorate them up however you want. A great mass make, again, product. So, and again, that's not my idea. But I do it pretty frequently because it is a fun one. I usually do them with the portrait dolls. That's pretty much how I've done most of mine. But you definitely don't have to have one of them on the top. You can just have the tag itself. So then she'll go on top. She doesn't need as much trimmed off. Should have done the trimming before the inking. <laughs> Never remember that kind of thing. Some of the sticky from the top of the um, paper page there. That glue all over. This one didn't need as much finagling. Got all over the front of her too. Yeesh. Making a mess. Okay. All right. So what are we going to do to this one? Oh, sorry. Ears, right? I'll put a piece of larger white lace. And then I slam down my scissors to top it off. All right. One there. Now I realize that these are not like these aren't white, but you get the you get the idea. What lace was I gonna put? Was I gonna put that there? I think so. Oh, and I have this. She's going to get doubly laced. This one here or here. a number five that's white oh I know what it was this one said watches clocks I was gonna put the watch there so we'll put the number five maybe up there I think that'll work okay 
So, <laughs> I need to do a little inking. little white eggs. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and use a little uh, tacky glue on this because I think it will stick better. Tacky glue is getting kind of tacky. <laughs> okay, that maybe. And our number five. I don't know why five. Just what I grabbed. Yep, that's from my um, Bourbon Rose Digital. Those little numbers. I'll pull you over a little more. I don't want to cut any of that off. Oh, we need to put that nest under. I don't remember that before I really pushed that on there. Okay, hopefully those all stay where they're at. <laughs> and let's do this one. Again, I'm gonna, I'll just use this because I know it'll stick faster. Put this one right under the line there. And again, it's not perfectly cut. This is the back. And I think these little flowers are supposed to hang down, but I'm gonna put them up because that's just how I want them. Because I want to. Maybe if it will let go of my fingers. Oh, I wanted that scooter down a little. I forgot those aren't perfectly even, those little flowers. And again, I probably will stitch. Ah, that wasn't good. Don't cut the cardstock, Amy. And I got my inky fingers on everything. It's a problem with working with white. <laughs> Doesn't stay white long, does it? Okay. Now we'll take this piece. Maybe if I can get a hold of it. It'll go right there just fine.
tired today. Don't have any good stories. No cat stories or anything. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he's not running off again. Crazy cat. He has given me a few heart attacks, I will say. So he's up to some shenanigans. All right, there's that one. Like I said, I will stitch it, but I will do that at another time. And it'll just be a stitch across there just to help kind of hold those together and make sure it stays together. I don't think you really have to, so if you don't like stitching, you don't have to do that. There we go. We have black for number 23 and white for number 24. Oops, hope you guys could see them all the way, huh? All right, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and we will chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye.